I'm doing good, man. Just chilling, posted up. You know what I'm saying? Weekend, so just trying to turn up best I can. You know what I'm saying? No, I see that. I see you get paid over there, too, man. Congratulations. Hell yeah, appreciate it, bro. Shit, just every week, got to put in the hours, man. Grind, got a son now, so shit changed a lot for me now. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, 10 bands, that's, that's a nice little step right there, my boy. Yeah, I know, bro. Uh, Right in, a, like, next week, I'm going to be moving out to AZ for a second. So, I'm going to get a job out there and shit and grind out there and shit. You know what I mean? Oh, that's dope. You know what? Keep me posted when you go out there. Uh, I'm going to be out there pretty soon and we can link up and shit. Oh, know? hell yeah, for sure. I'm going to be in Yuma, AZ, bro. So, like... Like, like, shit, most definitely tap in. And I'm be going to Phoenix a lot because I got family out there, too. So, it's going to be big out there, bro. I'm planning to do a lot of shit over there. Like, interviews, you know, all that type of shit. <clears throat> That's dope. Oh, man. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. <clears throat> what you want to chop it up? We having an interview for everybody that's tuning in. For some... For sure, man. So I got these questions run, written down, you know what I'm saying? Just, like, for me to get to know you better, you know what I'm saying? So, like, uh... Uh, where was you? Hey, what's going on, bro? Shit, just gassing up up there, man. That big old, that big gas, you know what I'm saying? Shit. <laughs> saying, you know what I'm talking about? Shit. Nah, man, uh, where you born and raised at? This, this, this my man, Gorilla Cinema. He do all my videos, so. Oh, really? Right. Right Hell yeah, that's dope, bro. I'm trying to get into video editing, too, bro, just because, like, like, I've always been interested in that. I've been interested in photography and shit, so, like, I'm trying to... Uh, uh, just get to other levels and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to produce shit like Icon and shit, you know what I'm saying? Or like, like, dope shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I feel it, I feel it. Shout out to Icon, man, doing his thing. Hell yeah, like, bro. Game now, huh? Shit, hell yeah, man. Nah, fucking, uh, I'm gonna ask these questions and shit like that, man. So, <laughs> like, where's you born and raised at? <clears throat> I was born in uh, a city called Huntington Park. Uh -huh. About three minutes away from where I was raised, and where I was raised is in Cutter, in California. So yeah. you know, uh, actually, the, the the hospital that I was born in in Huntington Park is not there no more. They knocked it down. Right. Oh shit. <coughs> Next to the city where I'm from, it's like like four or five minutes away. So I was raised in Cutter <coughs> my, my entire life. Right, right, right. Nah, that's what's up, bro. Nah, fucking, uh, my camera cut out a little bit. Nah, that's what's up, bro. Fucking, I was out in San Diego not too long ago and shit, you know what I'm saying? Because that's where my mom's from, you know what I mean? So, like, she's always out there and shit. And I was out there for a second in El Cajon. I think that's what it's called. El Cajon, California. And, um, I was out there for a little bit with my plug and shit. Because my plug, she's a bad motherfucker, bro. She's a bad motherfucker, man. She supplies, she says she supplies, like, 90 per, like, a lot of the dispensaries over there. So, she got, like, trash cans full of killer, edibles, fucking, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, whenever I walked in her house, bro, I ain't never seen so much weed in my life. So, whenever I seen that big old trash can, like, my jaw dropped and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, goddamn. Man, I bet, man. You know, the, the weed game in Cali is, is off the hook right now. For know? real. I've seen, the, yeah, I've seen a lot of memes and shit about uh, uh, Texas weed and Cali weed, you know what I'm saying? Because I live in Texas right now, but Texas really ain't got no weed, bro. Like, I ain't even going to front. Like, we get a lot of our shit shit from Cali, Colorado and shit, but, like, I, but, I like. Toured, I, I toured in Texas, like, two years ago with GT Garza, right? Uh-huh. And I got a hold of some weed out there. And, I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't no kill, but it was, yeah. it was probably like mid-grade for home, you know, like what we call mid-grade here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, probably the kill up there, but it was, it was mid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. <laughs> nah, like, I mean... <coughs> Once you go to Colorado, you know, it's a, like a little better. New Mexico, you know, they got some good shit over there. But, like, once you hit AZ, it's like they get a lot of their shit from Cali. So, like, every time I'm out in AZ, like, I'm always getting nothing but Cali Kush and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. and AZ is where, like, well, I got a little cousin and shit who's all into those perk 30s and shit like that. So, like, he gets all them hoes for, like, 2 $3 a pop and just goes crazy and I'm just like, damn fool, you need you need to chill out, fool. You know what I'm saying? That's a little that, that that's a little out of my element right there. I just smoke I just smoke the herbs, you feel me? Yeah, bro, that's what I do, man. Like I ain't gonna lie, like like everybody's, you know, party, done some shit, you know what I'm saying? Saca la bocita type shit, you know what I'm saying? But like I mean, long story short though, like 
I mean, like, like you got to know your limits, and it can't be a habit, you know what I'm saying? Everybody parties, has a good time. I'll, I'll be the first one to tell you. I've, I've, I've done a line here and there, you know, just yeah. party. Yeah. The ride, and the motherfucker's drinking, and, yeah. you know, motherfucker does hit it here and there, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, huh, honey. I definitely don't, you know, that ain't something I do on a daily basis. I, I haven't even did it in some years, but, like, I, I have been a part of that at one point, um, and, and, and I don't even want to make it seem like I'm some huge weed smoker. Cause yeah. I, I smoke <coughs> weed, but I, I, I drink socially if I even drink. Yeah, bro. When I was younger, I, I did drink a lot, but I, I don't drink like that no more. Yeah, bro. same here. Like, drinking, like, I mean, I like drinking every once in a while. Like, I have homies come over to the pad and shit and chop it up. They buy a whole 20... 28, 30 pack of Budweiser and Modelo's, whatever, and I sip them up, but, like, I know my limits, though, because I don't like going to sleep all dizzy and shit like that and all ha all ha having a headache and stuff. That's not my thing. I like smoking, like, I can smoke 10 blunts before drinking 10 beers, you know what I'm saying? That's just me, though. I'm, I'm a Corona man, and I probably drink about three Coronas, and then I'm, and then I'm out. I'm tapped out. Yeah, bro, like... I mean, my homeboys, they like uh, uh, fucking Budweiser and shit. And I tell them all the time, bro, Budweiser tastes like ass, my boy. And they tell me, nah, bro. And I don't know how they drink it, bro. Them motherfuckers, like, they're picky. Like, I'll go to the store, get a whole 30-pack or whatever. Fuck, they, the biggest pack they have of Modelo's. I bring them to the pad. And they're like, nah, man, let, let's go to the store, man. I, I, need, I need Budweiser. Let me go get a, a go, go, go buy me a tall boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's picky drinkers, bro. That's great, that's great, uh, homie beer right there, that, that, those are homies right there. They yeah, there, I used you to. Know, you know what I do drink? And, uh, when I will drink it, I'll give me a bottle of champagne and I'll, and I'll sip a whole bottle. Yeah. You feel me? But I, I don't even, I, I have to stop doing that because the last time I did, I woke up with a stupid hangover. Bro, yeah, fuck that. Like, I've drank a lot, bro, and I'm glad, like, I've never had a hangover, bro. I don't know if it's because, like, I know my limits, but usually I wake up, I feel a little dizzy, but I just, you know, I smoke a little bud in the morning, this and that, and usually gets my day. <clears throat> but, like, whenever I drink, I, I have to smoke, like, for some reason, like, I don't know, like, I don't smoke cigarettes either, but, like, whenever I get drunk, I end up getting drunk into smoking a cigarette or fucking uh, uh, just smoking all my weed or something bro you know what i'm saying like man if, if i smoke a cigarette if, if i'm smoking if i smoke a cigarette the vibe gotta be real yeah for real <laughs> like, shit my gotta be smiling like yeah i just gotta be in the moment to smoke a cigarette i ain't gonna lie you know what i'm saying right and i don't like tobacco weed at all like regular days <coughs> i just smoke weed <coughs> you know what i'm saying that's just all i do like i mean i smoke every day just because like Right now, it's like, a, it's just a bad habit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been smoking since I was, like, 16, so every morning, every single, I got to smoke before everything, and, like, I've been cutting back a little bit, don't get me wrong, because, like, I'm trying to get better jobs and shit, you know, but, like, at the same time, though, like, weed is something that fucking, it'll take a while for me to stop and shit. You know what? I've been smoking, I've been probably smoking consistently for about a year right now. Oh, shit. No. Uh -huh. And, and, and I'll be 100 with you. I probably smoke two blunts a day. Two blunts a day? Hey, that's that's same as me type shit. <laughs> no, what I, what I, and what I do is, like, I roll the first one up. Mm. I just hit that periodically throughout the day. Right. Me? And then I smoke the second one and I just keep going. Right. Hell yeah. Do you feel, uh, what do you feel about? Does that make me a smoker two blunts a day? Is that, does that make me a, a heavy smoker? Nah, oh. nah, not too heavy. I know motherfuckers that are yeah. blowing every second. <laughs> feel me like, shit. Like just one go, like blowing ten blunts a day. Nah, like even yeah. Nah, that ain't, I mean, that's average for me. I mean, like, that's an average smoker type shit. I mean, smoke two blunts. I mean, me, I used to smoke like four or five blunts every day and shit. Waste all my money. All that money I could have invested in some equipment or whatever. I spent yeah. it all on killer and shit as a teenager. And I shouldn't have done Now, I'm thinking right now, like, as a responsible adult, damn, man, I shouldn't have done that. But, nah, like, me looking at it right now, since I cut back, I don't even, I just smoke like, 
a couple hits out of my, you know what I'm saying, pipe, the morning, be before lunch, before I go to sleep, you know, that's about it. But if I was rich, shit, I'd be rolling up every day, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blunts, eleven blunts, you know what I'm saying, all that type shit, you know what I'm saying. It's to smoke 12 blunts a day, somebody said six blunts a day. Oh, let me see. Oh, shit, Big Blunt Bandit. Shout out Big Blunt Bandit, man. That fool been showing love. Yeah. That fool been showing love to my shit, man, since I was like, since I started, man. Shout out Big Blunt Bandit, man, for real. Uh, yeah, nah, I, fu I fuck with it, bro. I've been, I been following you since early, too, you know? Um, yeah. I, I like supporting all the all, all, all the bloggers and, and people that support what we're doing. I support them. Yeah. Them, man. I'm following them. Yeah. Them, 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 like, you know, I, I, hey, believe it or not, and, and people that follow me can actually contest to this shit. If I'm following you, I like every single person's picture. Right, right. For real. Right? I like everybody's shit, bro. It don't matter. You can have 10 followers, a million followers. If, if I follow you, I like your shit. Right. And, and sometimes I don't even know what it is. I'm just going through liking everybody's shit. Mm, 100. So that's, that's just me showing the love, I guess. You know? Yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah, I feel you, man. Like, like, same here, bro. I've been showing love. I mean, I've been peeping game on your shit for a while, too, man, since, like, I mean, me, like, before, like, I used to want to, you know, rap and shit, because, like, like, that's what I used to like to do, but my uh, uh, equipment all fucked up and shit, and I was thinking, man, like, what's the next best thing I can do? And I figured, you know, like, uh, my mom got this uh, camera for Christmas years ago, and she ain't, like, never touched it. It's just been sitting around collecting dust, and... I ended up, you know, uh, trying to do reactions, and I ended up, you know, liking that, bro, like, a little bit more, because I like being able to, you know, just sit down, jam, smoke some bud, you know what I'm saying, just be myself, you know, yeah. and, like, I know I'm not, you know, like, I've been working on my shit for a while now, and I know I'm not as big as fucking Spliff D, or, you know what I'm saying, any of them other fools, but, you know, the more I work hard on my shit, you know, my time's gonna end up coming, so, you know, just trying to work hard while I can, you know what I mean, and give it all I got. Success is really about. It's about the long haul, you know. I think. Don't get me wrong. Like there are people that will be successful overnight. More that's, honey. That's stuff that happens, you know. But for the most part, you kind of have to work on your success. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the more you put into it, the bigger you gonna get. So you know. Yeah. And all you gotta do is just dedication, and that's what's gonna make it pop. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, like I've had, like I've had videos that blew up to fifteen thousand or twenty thousand. Then I've had videos that just get less than a hundred, two hundred views and shit. But that's all a part, you know. It's all part of the game. I mean, people are gonna end up feeling some things. Some people ain't gonna feel some things, you know. So like, you know, I just learned to put it that way. Uh, whenever I did that blue face reaction, that shit right there blew my shit up like crazy because a lot of people wasn't fucking with blue face, man, because of that got in that side of the song. What you feel about that song right there? Um. Some other shit I heard. I heard like the that Thoughtful song. Yeah, yeah. I, was, <coughs> I, 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 I actually like the white King one. I, I, I wasn't hating on that one. I thought that one was kind of good. Yeah. Um, but I like the way the Cardi and Thoughtful one really. Yeah. I, I told everybody like this. I said, if you don't fuck with the record, don't listen to it and boycott the shit. Yeah, for but, real. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. Like me, like, like. I heard, I heard the records. Yeah. Like, I heard it a little bit, but I never even listened to the record all the way through. Right, right. Yeah. Like, and I did. You know, like, I, I listened to it for like three, four minutes, and then I turned it off because it wasn't important. Uh -huh. It wasn't anything important to me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. You know, I, I get that. I get that, too. Like, I mean, I only did the reaction because, you know, people were saying it to me and shit, and people was telling me, I don't know. Me as a reactor, I'm a, you know, do what, you know, the people tell me and shit. But, like, like, I don't know. Like, that song, like, I wasn't with it. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I guess I did see, you know, you know, what everybody was talking about. But I just, you know, played it safe and just, just not fucked with it at all. Just because, like, I mean, it's not my style anyways. And... I mean, whatever he does, man, that's him, man. Like, I'm not going to go in, try and hate on the next man, you know what I'm saying? I, like, because last thing I want to sound like is just a hater, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, nah, I feel that. that this song, uh, it's a thin line between your opinion and, and hating, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Especially, especially now, these days, like, you can't even really give a legitimate opinion because somebody's going to call it hate at some point, you know what I'm saying? For real, bro. <laughs> 
Hell yeah. Nah, man, that's that's that. Like, what, what do you feel about uh, Adam22 and all them fools, like, like uh, those big time uh, bloggers type stuff? Yeah, bro, like, that that's that's my main inspiration right there would be, like, Adam-22 and all them fools because, like, Adam-22, he's he's real big on the West Coast, too, so, like, he has a lot of rasa and, you know, all that shit, like, uh, going on his show and stuff, so, like, I look I look at him and I'm like, man, if this motherfucker can do it, anybody can do it, bro, because, like, like he's just, you know what I'm saying, just a cool, he's just a cool-ass white boy, you know, that just smokes a lot of weed and shit, so, like, I mean, like, I feel like if he could do it, bro, then, you know, I could do something like that, too. And shit, whenever I move. <clears throat> um, like, I tell everybody that's doing what you're doing, like, y'all yeah, helping out the movement, so just keep going with it, you know? What right. Saying? Shit. And what uh, essentially, you're going to get as big as the artist that you that you promoting is, you know? Right, right, for real. Yeah, I feel you, bro, and that shit. I f my bad, bro. I'm high as hell, man. <laughs> nah, <laughs> hell no. Nah. Hell yeah, I was reading these questions and shit like that, but uh, <clears throat> now nah, I got a couple more questions and shit, bro. And uh, so uh, fucking uh, uh, you play games and shit. Like, are you into gaming and stuff? Um, I play a little bit of GTA. Yeah. Um, Wildlands. Um, yeah. Um, I'm into Call of Duty. Yeah. These last few ones came out. The story mode was kind of boo boo, and I passed it easy. And I'm just not right. really on Call of Duty like that because I don't play Call of Duty live. You feel me? I play, yeah. I play GTA. Right, right. Like GTA, how how has it changed? Like, has it changed any type of way and shit? Because I haven't hopped on GTA in like three, four years. I mean, from what I can see, the computer one is a whole lot better than the, than the actual console one. Simone. Like the one that they play on the internet, that one's yeah. way better than, than the actual uh, GTA on Xbox or whatever. Yeah. I mean, it's cool, but it, I mean, you know, it gets a little, it is a little repetitive at this yeah. point. I'm just waiting for it. Yeah, nah, Fortnite. I can't stand Fortnite, bro. I, that's one game I can't stand. Like, I, never, I never played Fortnite. Man, that's some bullshit, man. Like I be getting mad when I play it, man. Like, cause mostly, like uh, the the majority of the people that be playing there are just like little seven, eight, nine year olds. They're just you know getting off of school and shit. And I be going shooting at somebody, and next thing you know, it they'll build a big old fort in front of me, two story mansion, start shooting at me from. Lord knows where, you know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't my shit though, you know what I mean? <clears throat> but not, but not like whenever it comes to when it comes to to music wise and shit. Uh, what other what other uh, uh what other rap genre or what other state uh do you fuck with other than uh, California when it comes to rap? Um, like East Coast, New York. East Coast, heavy, heavy, yeah. heavy. Coast heavy, even to this day, like I listen to more of the new East Coast rappers, yeah, than yeah, I do the West Coast rappers, mm. right? Like, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've always been into New York hip hop, and, and I've grown with it too, so it is right. what that is. Um, I like certain southern music, but I, I like real gangster southern music, yeah, like, like, like G shit from like Texas, like real old. Yeah, like slim, um, like slim thugs, zero type shit, yeah, Paul Wall. Yeah, like, 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 even, like even Scarface and all that shit. Right. Yeah, man. Like, for I, real. I, I just like, I, I just like music that talks about gangster shit, crack and all that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, for real. I, I grew up like that, so it's like you know that that's the type of music I love and shit. You feel me? Right. Just like um, yeah. Just like whenever I started, uh, uh, whenever I was a kid, whenever I was like, like, whenever I was like eight, nine, ten years old, whenever I started going out to California more, uh, I started linking up with like a lot of family, and then I started, you know, making friends over there and shit like that, and uh, they started, you know, I started, you know, they hear me jamming my DJ Screw, uh, SPM and shit, and then you know, a couple of my friends and shit, they they was like, hey man, uh, 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 that's SPM, yeah, my home, my 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 pops plays SPM, my Theo plays SPM, this and that, and I didn't really think people over there would really fuck with southern music like that, like SPM or you know, Dope House or anything like that, but like, I mean. 
A lot of people over there know a lot about, you know, Texas music and shit. Like, my girl, she's from uh, Yuma and uh, Slim Thug, Paul Wall and all them go out and play at the casino. And you be having that shit packed. So it's like, I like... Yeah, not Texas. <clears throat> Oh, for real? They, they, got a lot of, they got a lot of Texas swag over there. So, yeah. I mean, they got some Cali swag over there, too, but they really, they, there's a lot. Texas is, is influential in Arizona, for sure, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, I like seeing collabs, like, with Texas and California rappers, too, and shit, because, like, like, that, that, because it, like, like, it make, because me, I like uh, West Coast rap more than, you know, just a little bit more than Dirty South rap, East Coast rap, or anything, just because, you know, that's just what I grew up around mostly, and, you know, all my family shit's from the West Coast, so, like, um, whenever it comes to, like, like, somebody from the West Coast collabing with somebody from Houston, then all of a sudden you be having, you know, people like King Lil G getting blasted all over Houston, San Antonio, and King Lil G's been influential like a motherfucker over here, man. Like, people over here, like, play King Lil, play, play King Lil G, GT Garza, and who else? And uh, a couple other people, like, people like Kid Frost, like, like a motherfucker over here, you know? Hey, um, I, collab I, I, I collabed with some of the hottest fools in Houston. I collaborated with GT Garza. Yeah. I, I collaborated with Throw SA. Yeah, hey, that fool right there goes hard, man. Shout out Throw that Essay, man. That fool's from... Yeah, you know, me and Throw Essay got a hard-ass record on the on the Crack Rock Bounce EP, so... Damn, I'm gonna have to check that out. When'd that drop? Um, that dropped, like, the middle of last year and shit, I believe. Like, oh. right before I dropped the album, like, a couple months before I dropped the album. I probably I always gonna... drop a mixtape and <clears throat> then I do the album, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I feel you on that. You gonna drop an album anytime soon? Uh, I'm working on a tape right now. I'm gonna do a tape. You know oh, what I'm okay. Give him a little EP or something. I'm just, I'm just really searching for the vibe right now. You know what I mean? Cause you gotta think. I put out, I put out three projects in less than a year. I put out the uh, Summer '19, the uh, Crack Rock Bounce EP. Then I put Cut A No Boy Three. Right, right. So you know, I've been working. You feel me? So I had to just kind of take a couple of months off. I ain't been rapping for probably like four months, three months. Oh, I feel you. And, so. uh, you know, now I'm back. I'm back in the studio, just trying to look for a vibe, trying to get. Some you know, sitting down with different producers and shit and just trying to make it make sense right now, you know what I mean? But tonight's the first night that I'm back working and shit. Right, right. And that's good, bro. It's just shit. Like, like, it's always good, you know, like, to to grind those like first couple months, then chill back for, you know, a little bit and shit. Cause I know like making music probably gets real tiring, huh? Like it gets it's not that it gets tiring, it's just that you gotta constantly be recreating your subject matter. Right. You don't want people to get bored of the same shit. So you gotta constantly reinvent yourself. So you gotta find, you know, the the way I've been able to stay relevant so long myself is because, you know, whatever whatever's hot, the, the the music that's hot, I listen to it, and I and I go find the same type of beats, but that fit my flow. You feel me? Right, right. And then and so my, that's why you know my my, my shit never sounds outdated because. I'm, I'm, you know, I got my ear to the street, so whatever's, you know, whatever's hot, if you know how to rap, then you're going to be able to navigate your way through it, so, you right. know, I like to, and, and I still keep it traditional at the same time, MC shit, yeah. but you know, you, you just got to talk your shit on this new shit, that's all it really is, just, just doing you on this new shit, it's easy, it's not hard at all, you know, yeah. and, you know, so that, that that's really what I'm, where I'm at with that as far as music. You know what I'm right, that's good. Yeah, and that's good on that, man. Like nowadays, shit, you could become viral on just just about anything. Just all you gotta do is just have a catchy track, catchy hook. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. shit. I, I, I've had I've had just videos of me talking on IG go viral. You know what I'm saying? I got videos that got over a hundred thousand views just just doing me talking about some shit. You feel me? Yeah, um, hell yeah. And, and then I got, I got I got some records that went viral. The on my set record. Big Sick Nasty, we, we went viral on that, got a, a, a thousands of views and all kinds right. of shit on that. Hell yeah. You know, it, it's a hit or miss, you, you feel me? Like, not everything's gonna hit, not everything's gonna, gonna be the one, and, and the ones that are, you, they're gonna move on their own, you know, if they hot, right. they hot. Right, 100, man. And uh, I was going to ask you this shit, too, bro. Uh, uh, what's your ethnicity like? Because I know you're Mexican and um, shit, but you look mixed and shit. You feel me? No, nah, I'm, 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 I'm Mexican and I'm Native American. Oh, shit. Okay, that's what's so, up, bro. So, 
So my, 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 fa- my father is Mexican and my, and my mom is native, so. Oh, shit, that's what's up, bro. Nah, I got yeah. I got family that's native, and my sister, she's uh she's half native, too. Like, me, I'm not, but yeah. her, she's half native, so, like, her, she's part of the Kachan tribe over there in uh, Yuma, AZ. So, like, uh, her people own the little Kachan casino over there and shit, and it's, okay, okay. it's badass, bro, you know, just, like, like being around that little area, because, like, around where I live at around here, there's not too much. Native Americans is mainly just, you know, blacks, uh, Mexicans, and just a little bit of white people, that's it. But, like, over there where uh, my, my sister and all them's from, uh, there's a lot of Native American uh, uh, influence. So, like, I like peeping game on that shit, too, because there's a lot of shit that they don't even tell us about in school because all that shit's whitewashed, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm in tune with my Native side just as much as I am with my... Mexican side, you know, I, I, yeah. I always, my mom always raised me to like know who I was, you know, so right. That's, I never, never favored anything more than the other, you know what I mean? But, right, and that's what's up though, man. Nah, that's what's up though, bro. Like it's, you know, what I'm saying it's always good to have like two two sides to be proud of, you know what I'm saying? Because you know you have the Mexican side, which you know badass Chicano raza, you know what I'm saying? Then you have your uh, uh, indigenous side, and you know your people yeah. been here since like the beginning of time, so like. You know your your bloodline is is organic. You know what I'm saying. It's been here. You know it's not just like like uh, uh, fucking somebody from with Russian uh, origin or somebody with fucking yeah, English origin. You know what I mean? Nah, as that nah. But like uh, uh, what's it called? And you got any jewelry, bro? Uh, what what do you feel about jewelry? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, got, I got a couple pieces. You feel me? I got yeah. Y'all 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 see me? Hell <laughs> yeah. I got, I got, I had a nice little watch, you know, I got a gold watch and, and got some pieces, you know, I like it, it, it it's nice, you feel me? Um, yeah. The thing about jewelry, though, is like, once you get, once you get some, you want to get more, you want to get more, you want to get more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you got to kind of like, I don't know, man, you either got to have a lot of money or, or you got to figure it out, you know what Yeah. What I'm saying? <laughs> like, one thing I heard, like, I don't know if it's true, because like, like, I don't really know much about jewelry and shit, but like... They say once you buy an expensive piece, they say that it's really not worth much uh, uh, when you try selling it or something like that. Like, well, if, if you're buying custom, if, if you make custom pieces, they're not worth much. You feel me? I mean, they're not, it's not that they're not worth much because obviously the gold is worth something, but they're not of high value if they're custom pieces. Like, like if I go get a chain, saying any means, right? Right. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna get as much money for it because. Who the fuck wants to walk around with any means if they ain't any means? You know Hell yeah. So, that custom jewelry is what loses in value. But actual actual 14 karat gold, like, we're at like $56 a gram of gold right now. You dig what I'm saying? Right. So, um, you know, when when the, if the economy was to ever go bad, like, gold is, is what's going to be used for trade. Because right. money won't mean nothing no more. You know what I mean? So, right. when you buy gold, like... It's really an investment in all honesty, mm. Because it doesn't lose value. Gold doesn't depreciate the value, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh-huh, yeah. So, like, gold gold really gets, uh, uh, like, you you have the years, I guess, where it declines in price, and then you have the years where it rises in price, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, it's never going to be uh, invaluable. Yeah, matter. yeah. You know what I mean? It's always going to be, it's going to be worth some, you dig? yeah. And all right, now nah, let's uh, uh yeah, home, homeboy said let's talk about Chicano rap. So like yeah, let's talk a little bit about what's going on right now in the Chicano rap. Like, okay, let's do it. Let's what, do it. All right, what do you feel about like what do you feel about Conejo and that uh uh and how he's doing his thing and how that and then that movie he just came out in. Oh shit! I, I paid for it. You know what I mean? I bought it. I watched yeah. it a couple of times. I watched that movie probably like 10, 15 times, man. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, for real. It bro, got to the point where I just put it on and it'll be playing, and I'll be like doing shit in the crib. Yeah, the movies just playing. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. It was a dope movie. I liked it. I thought he did his thing in it. You know what I mean? He did uh. like a, a legitimate rap, a, a, a legitimate actor. You know what For I mean? real, like, it was, bro. It was dope. It was a solid performance and shit. I wish uh. it would have got a lot more attention. Yeah, you know bro. Know? Like, I wish it would've got a lot more attention, too. Like, me, I remember it was getting all hyped up and shit. I bought it the first day it came out because yeah, I seen... Sure, shit, I seen uh, uh, Conejo in this, so I thought, shit, that's what I saw, man, so I gotta show love. And then I seen uh, 
they were trying. I guess they were trying to shame uh, O'Shea Le, LaBeouf, or I think that's how you say say his name, O'Shea, O'Shea LaBeouf or something. And uh, yeah, they were trying to shame him for brown facing, but I didn't really see nothing wrong with that. You know, like he was just being. I mean, I just thought they made him G'd out. You know, that's all that is. You know.